a very good day to all today in this video i am going to teach you how to solve the numericals or the problems on the concentration cell in my previous videos i explained the construction and working and applications of various concentration cells so in this regard today let us learn how to solve the problems on the concentration cell so let's go to the first problem this is the first problem a concentration cell was constructed by immersing two silver electrodes in 0.05 molar and 0.1 molar silver nitrate solution write cell representation cell reactions and calculate the emf of the cell this is a very simple problem usually for uh, carries four or five marks so first here let us try to understand what kind of problem it is what they have given and what we have to do here the cell is constructed like this by immersing the two silver electrodes silver electrodes both anode and a cathode electrodes are dipped in two different uh, concentrated silver nitrate only so one concentration is 0.05 lower concentration and a higher concentration is 0.1 molar so for, for this we have to write the cell representation first then the cell reaction after that we have to calculate the emf of the cell the cell representation is this this is a cell representation silver slash silver plus of 0.05 molar this is a lower concentration m1 and double slash silver plus of 0.1 molar concentration m2 that is higher concentration slash silver electrode and the cell reactions half cell reactions anode reaction is this one anode undergo oxidation to give silver ion of 0.05 molar and then release this one electron cathode reaction is reduction the silver ion of 0.1 molar concentration undergo reduction to give silver overall cell reaction ag plus of 0.1 double slide arrow mark ag plus of 0.05 molar this is what the overall reaction and now how to calculate the emf of the cell so this is the formula to calculate the emf of the cell e equals 0.0591 divided by n log concentration of m2 by concentration of m1 this is a well known formula we have to remember this formula to calculate the emf of concentration cell now as i already said so lower concentration is m1 it is 0.05 higher concentration is m2 that is 0.1 molar so just i substituted the values of m2 m1 and n Sil since it is a, a silver ion only one electron is involved n is 1 here so upon the simplification of this we will get the answer of 0.017 volts so e equals 0.017 volts this is the emf of this silver concentration cell this is how we have to solve this let us uh, go to the another problem similar kind of problem so this is the problem calculate the cell potential of following cell at 298 kelvin so slash silver slash silver plus of 0.001 molar double slash silver ion of 0.5 molar slash silver this is almost similar kind of problem so need not to write the cell representation and half cell reaction only if they ask will uh, we have to write the cell representation and the cell reaction since it's only given as the calculate the cell potential directly let us calculate the emf of the cell using this formula e equals 0.0591 divided by n log of m2 concentration by m1 concentration so you know that uh, 0.001 is the lower concentration therefore it is taken as m1 and 0.5 is higher concentration that is taken as m2 that is i have substituted the value of m1 and m2 and also n value here n is only one because silver ion is monovalent so e equals 0.0591 divided by 1 log 0.5 divided by 0.001 so upon the simplification of this we will get the answer like this log 10 one value so remains same so because uh, 0.5 divided by 0.001 becomes 10 that is log 10 log 10 value 1 therefore the answer remains same 0.0159 volts this is the simple problem to calculate the emf of this silver concentration cell let us move to the another problem the third problem the emf of the cell is 0.086 volt emf they have given 
find the value of x that is cd slash cds for 4 of 0 0.0093 molar double slash cds for 4 of x molar slash cd that means x value we have to calculate here another concentration they have given here i think this is m1 m2 we have to calculate and e value is given here 0 0.086 volts let us directly go to the calculation of emf using the formula e equals 0 0.0591 divided by n log m2 by m1 emf this is given in the problem 0 0.086 volts substituting that value here 0 0.0591 divided by uh, for the cadmium it is 2 divalent 2 electrons are involved log x m2 is x here and m1 is lower concentration 0 0.0093 further simplification that is 0 0.086 after dividing these two we will get 0 0.02955 and log i retain the same step then further uh, simplification of this 2.910 is equal to log x minus log 0 0.0093 this is like uh, the log a by b is equal to log a minus log b like that so for the simplification log x equals 2.910 plus log of this minus becomes plus log of 0 0.0093 and the log x is equal to 0 0.8784 and therefore what is the value of x x equals anti log of 0 0.8784 if you take anti log of this the answer is 7.55 so x value is 7.55 molar in the place of here x we have to write this 7.55 molar this is the value of m2 this is how we have to calculate the concentration of unknown so let us go to the some other problem uh, fourth problem a concentration cell is constructed by immersing two iron electrodes in 0 0.01 molar and 0 0.1 molar ferrous sulfate solution represent the cell and calculate the emf of the cell this is the cell representation f e slash f e s o 4 of 0 0.01 a lower concentration taken as M1, double slash FeSO4 of 0.1, higher concentration taken as M2 slash silver. EMF of the cell, you know the formula, E equals 0 0.0591 divided by N log M2 concentration by M1. M2, as I already said here, it is 0 0.1 higher concentration. M1 is 0 0.01. And N value is 2 here. So upon the simplification of these steps here, it becomes log 10. You know the log 10 value is uh, 1, and therefore, after dividing these two, it becomes 0 0.02955. So, and therefore, the final answer also remains the same because log 10 value is 1. So, 0 0.02955 volts is the EMF of this concentration cell. This is how we have to solve the problems on the concentration cell. In the next class, let us solve next videos. In the next video, I'm going to solve some other numericals from the previous year question paper of VTU examination. Thank you all.